Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to how to um, uh, frame update for your UHF transmitter and your uh, UHF immersion RC. I mean, uh, the your uh, how to see this one uh, your receiver is very simple, guys. So follow this video, and I'm sure you'll will be not uh, uh, you, you'll be able to do it it's very simple first things you need this your two one receiver one transmitter okay always remember you need uh, see the USB lead you can see this is your USB lead and you need a mini lead you can see this see the mini what you do you just hook up in your USB here or this one is also here uh, on the this side you can see this one here so we start from first the transmitter okay we're going to use the easy EZ UHF transmitter today and then I will same way you can see this one too and I will explain all the possibility what you can do so when you do this you just put up there into your transmitter and now you can see this lead here you can see in your, my computer now I'll just go look back so and then you can put into see into the uh, your USB okay so you just put in your USB lead and what will happen when you push so you can put into the USB lead here we go you get the light on so that means connected okay but you do this thing is later on okay I mean first we need to download so let's start So you need to come www.immersionrc.com You come on this page when you on this page you need to start go down scroll down until you see these three option here I mean this immersion RC tool is important to download but if you want to EZ UHF 1.5 release include immersion tool you can download this one and this is the UHF JR module supplement you can download also but at the moment we're looking for upgrade our firmware and how things work so you click on this plus sign now you can see all this option here we don't worry about anything just leave all these things there click on the full detail then it will goes to the your next page now you come back here see this option here download then you click on this and could be download in your make sure where you download I always keep in my desktop you can find this file just remember this and you know where to take it out so I download this one this file done bring you this file on the middle then you can click on this you need to extract the file or unzip the file if you see the different type of folder don't get panic you just need to do you all the option even in the Windows 7 or XP or Vista is all same you need to click right and then you, my one saying extract the file you will say unzip the file or depend on what so you make sure click this follow a little bit instructions see when you unzip the file will be look like that so take this back click on this this file is open for you when this file open you click on this immersion RC tool setup click on the right 
run as administration so you can click like that it's going to preparing to install okay welcome to this you can do the next see this is saying install but this is in my already into the computer you can install like that so just click on the install and it will be installed in the computer because I already have in my computer I'm not going to do it so I'll click it out this one or cancel it yep and then I do finish so it's done in your computer after you done you can see you get this kind of icon so when you see this kind of the icon you can click it when you click it see it's saying here immersion rcusb.com4 but why is saying because if I take it out and I refresh this <coughs> so you can see all see no device is coming no device found so that's the reason then when I'm going to again connect my UHF transmitter easy UHF transmitter it should get the light up hopefully you hear the beep and when we connect it through the USB you can see immersion RC USB you find compete for it will be different okay you can save these things now you come back to here see that's when we're looking for it so you can click this every time you work on this okay I'll let you know guys one more thing when you download uh, the immersion uh, immersion RC tool it could be this see this number here 136 is just the version so there will be anything 1.40 1.5 it goes every time time goes up and they just keep upgrading so don't worry about these numbers okay so it keep going up so just I let you know so you says in the video 1.36 and you got 1.50 then you get oh something you know so let you know so what you do every time you come on this page I click in my this you can see this easy UHF transmitter now you can see the head taker program TXPM dialog box and TXPPM dialog box okay it, now it's not connected you need to read the setting from the transmitter so you can click on the read setting on the transmitter give a couple seconds now is updated see my transmitter id 490 4697 my firmware version is um, 4 version is 1.443 you're right tx code and there's the frequency band you can change just click on this you are able to change all the frequencies if you have a two transmitter and you and your friend flying so you can change your frequency band and that's why you don't get any trouble each other so it's quite good and that's a remote power switch off uh, solution example and these things use only UHF toggle switches so yeah you can do a little bit around here and uh, read the setting upload the setting so if you change anything around here like supposed to you change your uh, frequency band or anything you need to be say upload setting to the transmitter and then whatever you do here on this page will save into the your transmitter go to the, your next head tracker see that's the head tracking now again you cannot do anything unless you click on the read setting from the transmitter so click again give a couple of seconds see see now we can say pen source tilt and roll source right 
and this nation I mean you can change all this and the channel all right I mean you can do from your transmitter if don't know how to do on through the toggle so it's, it's, it's make life a lot easier again whatever you do again up you need to click up load the setting to the transmitter that's where it's going to work then you go to the program that's the main part here guys so I think if you click here to upgrade I'm not going to do it because it's work for me fine I have to change everything guys I'm really sorry but yes you can do here see easy I think you can click on this and then read a little bit around here it's saying uh, pre-serve configuration you know so in the most you just click on just read a little bit around and it's going to do it and note see the fix for fuses use this button to ensure that the correct program fuse are not set analyze Im uh, immersion RC USB program they use this specially you know so read around a little bit careful what you're doing you know I'm just giving you the idea of how to do it so you can go the TX HTTP see the all the channel one two three eight it out set update position you can change if you like stop update HT I think tracker for this one and then TXPM I think we can do see the start correct duration start PM and all this stuff I don't know how things work so start update servo position so you can also I think we can do the servo position all right and this thing so that's where you can do the guys firmware now I'm um, see this one done I'm not going to do anything because I haven't done so next I'm going to show you how to connect your easy UHF 8 channel receiver so same way guys remember how I connect I'm taking my transmitter out now the same way in to connect I hope you see the uh, video before see the be all right see the video before the you same way you just need to just you know this plug here you just I hope you can see a little bit you can just plug it to the USB and then the light will come that means it's connected so that's we need to connect in your computer all right after that now is see now again you can see here the change all right make sure it's connected with this after this you need to find again your see I'm using the diversity one so I'm going to use this one okay oh which one I'm using I'm not sure hang on guys I think I'm using each not little I'm using this one here okay so after I click on this again remember you need to say read setting from receiver so you click here I hope I click the right one yep see the version 1.436 RX code there's a machine ID look like you know can't change it ppm channel 8 diver diversity okay there's the diversity guys antenna one also there's a good option if you want to use the diversity you can use the diversity or you want to just use one antenna just click on the one or you can two antenna two so you will dictate only your when antenna was going to work but what is the nonsense if you have both antenna you should put in the diversity so that's why you buy and pay for these things and also see the, the frequencies band is 435773 and this so that's the main page now servo mapping so that's your servo mapping until you can reset default ppm 8 channel you're going to only 8 channel use so it comes to the uh, 12 channel look like I don't know we'll find if we do the what that called some options able to use the ppm 12 channel but yep until 8 here so same thing you need to click read setting from receiver so you click here
take a little bit longer this time guys yep all done so now you can see you can change it all the servo out and pmp but don't play with that you know not really necessary see the servo x mapping add firmware this and this you know so so see now you can update your firmware to clicking here and this is the spectrum analyzer it's really quite a good option you can see the analyze what is the infrared widget i mean i will just click on it for you guys it's quite good options you can use this it's take a little bit longer and i didn't put the antenna there so have a look there's the band reflectuating up and down and coming so and i'll click see the keep scanning so you can see the four three bands what we use the band and it will be keep every sec two seconds we'll see change so you can see your frequencies how is working i think it's because i haven't put see the dbm rssi out it's just controlling from there because i don't have any things so it's quite a good option and easy band only so you see record you can see so you can stop this and then inference wizard i don't know but i'll click it have a look see it's a lot of option here you can see all this setup ubic setup and all this tab i don't know honestly i have to study more oh just for the osd so all right so yeah that's quite good camera this you can do a lot of things guys but we'll do later on when i got all so you get it out and then i did program i'm sure i did it and then you bind nrss you can pre-bind you know so if you click here pre-bind and put the rcs is your value here you can do it but uh, how what is the drama i'll show you how to do the proper binding later on so this is the all about see this way guys you can do it and uh, that's where you upgrade and use your immersion rc tool for configuration your transmitter and receiver so if you like my video please subscribe and uh, ask any question i try my best to give an answer thank you for watching